Hey guys, how's it going? Twigs here. So we're going to be listening to Intash talk about a lot of stuff that actually kind of resonates with me. And I believe that after taking like a little over 20 days off of uh, content making and streaming, that this is like probably the best way to kind of come back. Because the thing about me and Intash, and I, I, I hype on this and talk about this all the time, is that I... A lot of what he goes through and a lot of what he feels, I resonate with a lot. And so I want to check out this video and kind of give my takes on it. Because I'll be honest with you, I've already pre-watched this, but I'm able to speak on it a lot just because of how much I kind of vibe with Mtash on just about everything this man says. <laughs> So, without any, without further ado, hit that like and subscribe button. Hitting that like button helps get the video out there. Hitting that subscribe button helps us grow a community over here, helps us grow the channel. And on top of that, I'll leave a link in the description. Check out Mtash. He's one of my favorite content creators. Definitely show some love to the dude. Hit that like button for him and subscribe to his channel. So, let's check this out. Gamers, uh, I wanted to have a little bit of discussion. I've been very sick recently. I was down and out for a while. I'm still kind of getting over it. So I've been I feel that as you guys have probably seen from my last couple of videos, I was recovering from uh vi um I don't know what it was, honestly. I think it was like a cold or a flu. Knocked my voice out. Destroyed my voice, which is like the second time I've had that happen in my whole life. It's Recovering from some kind of head cold, and it just destroys my voice for like a handful of days to a week. Been a little bit MIA with the content, but even before getting sick, I've been a little bit MIA. But I want to discuss this game here, Wuthering Waves. I want to discuss, you know, the channel, what our plans are going forward, and then a little bit about streaming. Because some of you might have noticed that I haven't really been streaming a lot lately, but for this game, I want to. And there's a reason uh, why same when i got to play the beta the close the second close beta for wuthering waves enjoyed just about everything about the game and yes for anybody who watched my videos i made during that time there were some fine things that i did harp on for example and i will hold wuthering waves to this controller support Controller support is so important to me. You have to have controller support. Other than that, combat's amazing. Character designs are very well. Uh, they're very good. Um, honestly, I can't wait for the game. I'm I'm right there with Imtash. I'm going to be playing the shit out of Wuthering Waves whenever it comes out. Um, I love playing new games and discovering things. And when a new game comes out and there's new characters and new things, I'm very mentally stimulated. I'm having a good time. I'm having fun. I find streaming easy. But when I am playing a game that has stagnated, I have a very difficult time staying awake. No, seriously. Like, I, I, I honestly feel so tired and drained when I log into Honkai Star Rail. I can't fake it. I cannot fake it if I'm not having fun. And when I'm sitting here and I'm playing this game and all my energy's out and it's like, what's your Acheron build for the 50th time? I kind of snap. Like in my brain, I'm like, oh my God. And I know that that's probably not a good thing because. And it's, and this is from my, and again, my opinion solely is that I don't mind the occasional viewer saying, hey, or the, in a stream that is. When someone that's a viewer is watching and they they pop, pop up in the chat and say, hey, what are you running on your character? I don't mind ans answering that question, but I can see where, like, you've already, like, two times earlier showed your Acheron uh, relics and what kind of substats you have. And you've already ran through that. And then, like, s <laughs> and then after you've already done that, uh, maybe two times... And then a third and a fourth and a fifth and a sixth viewer comes along and asks the same exact question. Then that can be like grinding on the nerves. I can feel that.
because you want to build a community. I appreciate you guys watching me. I want you to be there. I want to answer those questions. But my brain starts to turn into mush when I'm not engaged and having fun. And so if you look at my streams, like, it's been MIA. All right, we streamed on the 23rd, but that's because we also had a sponsorship obligation. If I didn't have this obligation, I'm going to be straight up with you, I might not have even streamed. But this is like over a week ago. Before then, we had a Genshin Impact stream on the weekend. Before then, we had oh, the a Galaxy game Battle, that we just yeah. genuinely wanted to play. It was a good time. It was amazing. Yeah. No one came and watched, but that's okay. I had fun. And then before that, the last real stream that we did just because we wanted to stream and there was content in game was April 17th. And that was when we were doing polls for Aventurine. And we were. And yes, 100% stream, like pool streams and poll videos during like those, like. Those days, the, 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 when a new character comes out, those will always do really good. Always will do really good. Especially, especially when you make videos of yourself reacting to a streamer or a content creator making a pull video. That, that is great. That is funny. All right. And, um, you know, I've still made some videos. We've made some videos, and honestly, I've been really happy with the videos. We did a, this Arlecchino video. It has almost 150,000 views. Really good response. A lot of comments saying, wow, I love the way you explained her kit here. I really like this video. I saw a cool character. I made a video talking about cool character. It did really well. And I think that's when I, I shine, is when I'm having fun, I'm engaged, I'm putting out content that like I want to make, it shines. And... And that just right there goes to show that M. Tash's Genshin audience is still 100% there. And the other thing that it shows is that how much hype Arlecchino has. Everyone was, like, as soon as M. Tash put that video, I'm pretty sure a lot of people were like, oh, M. Tash made a Genshin Impact video. Let's see what M. Tash has to say about Arlecchino. I think that overall... The channel's been, like, doing fine. It's been good. It's, you know, 2.2 is hyped. It's still got 50,000 views, but I was late. I was really late on this because I'm so busy with life. So, here's the plan. Okay, what's the plan? I'm taking some time off from the streaming. The next time that I will stream will probably be with Robin dropping and the new 2.2 patch. Because that's... Yep, he's gonna, he's gonna capitalize on that... Uh, new character, new expansion stream. Completely understandable. That's when I actually want to play. But other than that, I am taking a bit of a streaming hiatus until Withering Waves. The reason why, this game looks so cool to me. I'm very excited to try it out, and I want to almost marathon-like cover this game. I want to cover feel it. That. I feel that. I feel that 100%. I want to beat the puzzles and beat the bosses. I want to make guides, because that is engaging. And if you're thinking to yourself, Michael, you're going to burn out! No. I burn out when I'm bored. If the game has content and it's engaging, I don't burn out. I burn out when I run out of things to do and I'm forced to only do daily energy every day. And with gotcha games, it does happen. It does happen. But when I have guides to make and I'm excited about a game, I will play for months without getting burnt out. And the nice thing is, if things slow down yeah, in this game, cool. we can always go back to you know, HSR. We can go back to Genshin. There's always new content dropping in these games. We'll be okay. But I just want to make sure I've got my life in order, I've got my stuff in order, and then when this game drops, I want to enjoy it, and I want to go ham, and I really hope that it's good. And if it isn't, it is what it is. We're going to cover it, we're going to try our best, we're going to make a bunch of guides on it, um, but we're not going to just... Oh, the animation on this game looks so sick. And the character designs look so good. Completely give up on HSR and stuff like that. And even Genshin, like, I made my Arlecchino video, I couldn't believe how well that video did. It was like 150,000 views or something like that. Um, but I'm just kind of laying it out there, how I'm feeling about things. Him and I are very like-minded. And that's what I appreciate about him. But on another point, on another level, I am also very much excited for Wuthering Waves. I cannot wait for this game. I am looking forward to this game. And right now... This game, when it comes to total pre-registrations, 
is on a whole nother level, reaching up to 26 million, over, over 26 million uh, pre-registrations. That is a shitload. This game comes out around the end of the month, and they are 100% going to hit that 30 million, that 30 million goal. And I'm looking forward to this. I'm 100% looking forward to Wuthering Waves, playing this game, grinding it out, making more content for it, because I was absolutely enjoying making content for the uh, beta. And that's why part of the reason my enjoyment for this game was part of the reason why I stopped playing the beta and stopped making content for the beta is because I didn't want to burn myself out and invest too much into the beta. That way I could thoroughly enjoy when the game hits hits its full release. And so I would definitely, definitely advise people that who that are interested in playing gotcha games to 100 percent definitely check this game out when it comes out or even go as far as to pre-register and look into it yourself that there's there's a reason why weathering waves is being right now considered potentially a competitor for genshin impact because it's on its genre it's on its level it is basically hitting every bit of what like the the market the community the player base that Genshin Impact resides in that's my thoughts on uh Wuthering Waves but I also want to talk about I also want to talk about Zenless Zone Zero ZZZ this game on the other hand has been receiving a lot of mixed reception the last beta that came out for ZZZ, and keep in mind, ZZZ is being, it is made by Hoyoverse. So, when you think of ZZZ, definitely keep a game that is very much like Honkai Star Rail, Genshin Impact, in mind. But the thing is about ZZZ, is that it is... It's going to struggle a lot for two big reasons. I'll, give, I'll say actually three big reasons. First big reason is, is the game hit a big obstacle with its, with its beta test that it had uh, not too long ago. Its beta test got very mixed to poor reception mostly because of how you go about grinding the game. And a big criticism of grinding the game and going for, and just going for regular progression is what was referred to as the TV mode. The TV mode absolutely hurt this game. Cuz nobody really wanted to do it. It wasn't enjoyable, it wasn't fun, and nobody likes to do what they don't want to do. And there was, and this was one of the big common uh, things being said about the game during its beta, which was, oh, well, the end game is actually pretty fun. Well, here's the problem. The end game can be really fun, but it's not worth, to the, to the regular player, the casual player, nobody will want to play through unenjoyable content, being the TV mode, to get to what would based on perception and word of mouth would be enjoyable content. The average player is not going to want to tough it out through unenjoyable content to eventually get to that golden field that is considered potentially good content. And so that was the first big issue of ZZZ was it's uh, mixed to poor reception in its beta. Then, on top of that, the other thing about ZZZ is that it's not only competing with itself, and I'll tell you what I mean by that. When I say it's competing with itself, I mean it's competing with its sister games, so to speak. 
Honkai Star Rail and Genshin Impact. Everyone already com- compares Honkai Star Rail to Genshin Impact for good reason. They're made by the same company. So what's the big deal? Well, Honkai Star Rail, to be fair, let's be genuinely honest here, competes and stays pretty competitive with Genshin Impact through its good gameplay. It's fairly good story. And right now, Honkai Star Rail is like beating Genshin Impact in those aspects. The only thing Genshin Impact has going for itself is a really good open world and a fairly good Archon Quest story. I, I specifically am saying Archon Quest story on purpose. <laughs> um, and and the combat, the combat is good in Genshin Impact. It's just that it leaves a lot to be desired because it has the potential to be so much more when it comes to like combat-based gameplay. But Honkai Star Rail checks all the boxes. Uh, good world design, even if it is um, segmented world, uh, segmented areas. Um, great story, great combat, great character design. It checks the boxes and everything, and that's why in some aspects, Honkai Star Rail is put up above Genshin Impact in some cases. Zenless Zone Zero has to compete with that. It has to compete with its sister games, because this is another gotcha game that... And and keep in mind, this is where I'm getting at. You got Hoyoverse, who has two, arguably two of the biggest gotcha games in the market, and Zenless Zone Zero has to compete with itself, and by that I mean its sister games. And can ZZZ compete with its sister games? That is going to be a tough order. Now, let's branch that out. Can ZZZ not just compete with its uh, sister games itself, but also compete with another game that's coming out roughly in the same time span. Roughly, I don't think ZZZ has a official release date. I think it's sometime this year, though. But can it compete with Wuthering Waves that is going to potentially compete and by compete I mean like compete as in actually be very competitive with Genshin Impact because Weathering Waves is going right after Genshin Impact's market its player base and that is what ZZZ has to do ZZZ not only has to compete with its sister games but also compete with games outside of its umbrella in Wuthering Waves. And and I'm not just going to stop with Wuthering Waves. AFK Journey's doing really good. And then there's also games that have been in the market for a very long time that still do very good, like Fate Grand Order. That is the competition. There is right now a lot of competition in the gacha game market and it's and that's what I'm getting at. ZZZ doesn't isn't just competing with games under its own umbrella. There is a tough market even outside of that umbrella. And I honestly don't think ZZZ is going to make it. I think they're going to I think Hoyoverse is going to throw ZZZ out there. See how it does for maybe a few months to a year. And then, honestly, I think it's going to, th- I don't think it's going to end well for ZZZ. A rough beta test along with a rough market. And honestly, I'm not interested in the game. I, I'm not interested in the gameplay. I'm not interested in the story. And maybe that's just me specifically. But I don't think. If it's not going to catch a player like myself, 
it's going to have a rough road outside of that. And this is kind of sad because I actually dig this character design. I dig, I dig this chick. But I, it, this chick is not enough to interest me in playing the game. <laughs> so with that being said, that's my thoughts on MTash. My uh, thoughts on myself. My thoughts on Weathering Waves. My thoughts on ZZZ. I am going to be probably put, putting out more videos consistently now. Now that I've just kind of... I'm trying to get back on the uh, the treadmill, so to speak. But definitely hit that like and subscribe button. Definitely check out my channel. And while you're at it, I'll, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description below. Definitely check out MTash. He's a great content creator. And I can't say enough good things about him. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys later.